Hello everyone, my name is Jody Robson and I am a home baker from the Okanese First Nation located in Treaty 4 territory, but I currently live in Regina. Today I'm going to be baking a pie with you. One of my favorite things to bake is pie, just because you can enjoy it at any point in time in the year. Every holiday you can celebrate with a pie. Now pie crusts are a bit of a finicky thing. Some people use butter, some people use lard, some people use a combination of both. I am all about supporting locally grown ingredients. It's one of my favorite things. Now, if you're in Saskatchewan, you might notice in the late summer, early fall, as you're driving down the gravel road, endless fields of gorgeous yellow blossoms. Those fields are canola, and canola is the fat that I'm going to use to make my pie. Canola oil, um, I know, how are you going to make a pie crust with oil? Well, the answer is simple. We're going to freeze the oil and then it solidifies and works just like every other regular fat that is normally used in a pie crust. All right, let's begin the pie crust. For this recipe, you'll need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour and it really helps to do this in the food processor. You don't want to handle the oil too much. Half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of baking powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and pulse that just for a second to bring it all together. All right, nicely combined. Okay, to this, I'm gonna add my frozen canola oil. And you'll see it's hardened and it looks very similar to, uh, to lard or um, vegetable shortening. Just going to go ahead and tip that right in for there. And we're going to pulse it again. I love working with canola oil. <laughs> because it's one of those ingredients that I always have on hand. So like, say I'm rushing last minute, and no, I'm notorious for that, to make a pie crust, and I don't have any lard or butter on hand, and I'm not running out to the store because it's winter, then I will just use canola oil. It's, it's so easy, it fills in very easily for this. So I have half a cup of ice cold water, and I've added one slightly beaten egg and I'm going to add one tablespoon of white vinegar. I'm just going to set that aside. While this is pulsing, I'm going to slowly drizzle in my wet ingredients and it's going to come together as a dough. It's going to get a little loud. Now, on a working surface, I, I've got this big wood cutting block, I'm just going to put a little bit of flour down so the dough doesn't stick, and I'm going to knead it very, very gently and only a few turns. I just want to bring it all together smoothly, but I don't want to overwork the dough because that'll make it tough. So when working with canola oil, you have a couple different options. You can use a conventionally processed canola oil, which you can find on any grocery store shelf, or you can try cold pressed canola oil. Now, cold pressed canola oil, because it's processed a little bit differently, um, you know, the, the, the seeds of the, of the canola plant are pressed down very slowly so that it doesn't increase friction and it keeps the temperature of, of the seed and the oil below 60 degrees. It has a much more um, intense flavor, I guess is how I would say it, uh, aroma and even color. Now, cold pressed canola oils are really, really good in cakes. I, um, I enjoy baking with cold pressed canola oil. Um, for this recipe though, I've just used conventional. I'm trying to use ingredients for this that are commonly found in everybody's kitchen. 
Now, cold pressed canola oils aren't always found in your local grocery store. You sometimes will have to go to a specialty store to find it. So, our doughs come together. I'm gonna go ahead and use my canola knife and cut it into two pieces. There's enough dough to make two single crust pies or one double crust pie. So I'm gonna be making a double crust pie today. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll out the first uh, ball of dough for my bottom crust. Canola oil is a combination word. It's a compound word of Canada and oil, canola. And that makes sense as Canada is the largest producer of, um, of canola oils. Now this recipe is absolutely fabulous because Sometimes when you're in a pinch and you want to make a pie, you don't always have butter or lard in your house. Like I'm, that's my case anyway, especially when we were living rural. Um, but I did find that having, I always had canola. We always had a big jug of oil. So when I discovered that you can freeze it and use it, it was just like, a, wow, a game changer. All right, and you want it to be rolled quite thin it, it is gonna puff a little bit because we did put some baking powder into it. And you see how beautifully this dough rolls and it's so, it's so soft and malleable. It's, it's quite a lovely dough. Now I myself, when I was first starting out as a baker, was incredibly intimidated by pie dough. You know, um, if you work it too much, it becomes really tough. You don't get flaky enough. Everybody's grandmother makes the best pie dough. It's a very intimidating um, bake to get into. But I found that this recipe is pretty much foolproof. And uh, because it's so easy, like anybody can make it. All right, so I got my pie crust all nice and rolled. It's about a quarter of, a, of an inch thick. You could go even an eighth of an inch. Like I said, it is gonna puff up a fair bit. So, well, not a fair bit, but it will puff up slightly. So put it into the pan. I'm gonna dock the surface and because I'm using a berry blend, I am gonna brush the surface with an egg wash because I am not going to pre-bake. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, dock the surface with a fork. like so, and give it a quick brush with egg wash. I'm not gonna be blind baking my pie crust, but I am filling, oops, but I am filling it with a uh, berry and that can be a little bit of a soggy bottom thread. So I find just the quick egg wash usually prevents that from happening. All right, so in with the berries. All right, so now we'll use the fork. I uh, made a sweet failing today. It is a Saskatoon berry blend, a little bit of citrus in it. I do like Saskatoons with a bit of orange peel, orange zest. Now we have the berry filling nicely inside. I'm just gonna set this aside while I roll the top dough out now. Again, a little dusting of flour. Now, as I had mentioned earlier, Canada is one of the largest exporters, is the largest exporter, excuse me, um, of canola products. Now, canola oil is a large, is a large um, product produced from the canola plant, but uh, as well, the canola seed is also used as meal for, for animal feed. And studies have shown that feeding cattle uh, canola meal actually can increase their milk production which is fantastic it's a very useful plant and honestly it looks so beautiful when the blossoms are all blooming
Now you'll notice with this particular dough, it also doesn't stick very much. So I've only had to do a light dusting in the, at the very beginning of, of rolling this out, but it won't stick to the counter very much. It's a, it's a very, very easy dough to work with. So once I got that rolled out enough, I'm gonna go ahead and just brush the edges of the pie, the bottom crust, with a little bit more of the egg wash I have. That'll just help the top crust and the bottom crust stick together. Now, slide that over and just drape it. Look at that, how lovely. I am going to trim using my knife. Now some people fold over the crust and um, I, you're more than welcome to do that if that's your technique. I'm just going to trim it because I do have a fair bit of crust. So I am only using an 8 inch pie plate. You can definitely get away with a 9 inch pie plate with this recipe. Um, or I, I would definitely say I would probably make close to two dozen tarts if you're, if you're making tarts with this, with this pastry. Or you can make deep dish pie. Now I found that this particular pastry dough does keep well in the fridge. So even if you don't use all of it for your recipe, you can keep it for later use. Maybe you have leftovers after Thanksgiving and you want to make a turkey pot pie. Well, if you've made a pumpkin pie, which is only needs one crust for the meal, well, you have an extra crust for the turkey pot pie. See, it makes things really easy. We do that a lot. Make an advance, a bulk batch in advance. Okay, so I've trimmed the edges somewhat. I'm going to tuck them under and then I'm going to go around and pinch it. Yes, canola oil also has a high smoke point, which makes it ideal for cooking fa foods in a cast iron because I don't have to worry about it smoking or burning. It, it has quite a high uh, level of heat tolerance. It is really just a very versatile oil and it's so useful and, and, and easy to work with. Okay, so I've rolled on all the edges under so the berry juice won't leak out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go around the edges and just crimp it with my finger. I like to do things hands-on. Um, I don't have a whole lot of extra gadgets in the house just because I like to do things with my hands. It just feels more rustic, which is my approach to everything. All right, so there we go. The whole edge is done. I better put some vent holes into this so that the steam can escape. Now I've also found that with this pastry recipe, with this particular canola oil pastry, that uh, I do not need to blind bake it. I can just go ahead and go right in um, into the oven with my berry filling in it. It does not make a soggy bottom, but I do like to give it an egg wash, um, just some egg yolk and a little bit of water, just for a nice shine when it comes out. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the oven at 400 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes, reduce the temperature to 325 and cook for another 30 to 40 minutes, depending on uh, how fast your, how hot your oven gets, because everybody's oven's a little different. Might take a little longer, might take a little less. Um, yeah, that's, that's, it's as easy as that. The whole thing comes together in 10 minutes or less. All right, ready to go into the oven. I hope you enjoyed baking along with me today. Canola oil pastry is definitely a game changer. I hope you enjoy it in your kitchen as much as I enjoy it in mine. The pie is fresh from the oven. It is golden and gorgeous. I can't wait to try the Saskatoon filling. I hope you enjoyed making this pie as much as I did, and I hope that your family enjoys it as much as I know mine will.